How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be working on the log arch. We got to put the axles in it and I thought I'd bring you guys along. So right now I'm working on uh, this side right here. We're going to do one on video and I'm going to show you what I'm doing and why I have a foul. So let me show you what uh, I'm trying to clean out of this thing. I don't know if you can see it, but you see that little seam right there where the tip of my finger is? There's a little seam that goes down that pipe, and what I'm doing is I'm fouling that out, getting all the burrs out of it, just cleaning it up, getting ready to put my axle in. So there's a little bit of fouling and cleaning there. So there is just a little bit of work to trying to get the uh, seam out of there, but with a good foul or a Dremel tool with a sanding disc on it, I think you could work that out of there. It doesn't take too long. But you want to get that nice and smooth in there the best you can. Okay, um, now that we got that seam out of there, as you can see, this has a lot of play in it. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to make some shims to take that play out of this. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to make my shims out of. And of course, it's just a piece of garbage metal. So let me show you. Okay, what I have here is just an old blade, bandsaw blade, from my metal bandsaw. And we're going to make this pretty easy. All I'm going to do is take a pair of tin snips. And I only need... So much of this is going to have weld on it, so I just need a small piece. And I need several of these. I'm just going to take a pair of tin snips, chop this guy off just like that. Now we have one shim there. And these are good strong shims. So now we got to clean this shim up. Okay, I have the little 1 by 30 uh, sanding belt sander here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the teeth off of this and we're going to clean this guy up. some water ready because this thing's going to get super hot. Now that we took the teeth off of it, I'm going to smooth out this side, the sides, and round this off, almost make it look like a filler's gauge. Now, I think we have a pretty good looking shim right there. I think that'll work good. So I need to do about six of these. So I'll get these done and then we'll get back to you. All right, we have our six shims ready to go. 
And we got one more thing to do. We're gonna drill a hole, a quarter inch hole, right through the bottom of this thing, about in the center. We know our shaft is not gonna go all the way through. It's gonna be about right there, so if I drill it in the center, it'll be back towards the back. So we're gonna drill one hole right in this guy. Okay, so now we got the, the ridge in there cleaned out and we got a hole drilled uh, through the bottom about in the middle. We definitely want to make sure that it hits the back side of this right in here somewhere. Okay, we're going to start off laying our shims in here and I'm going to do three pals of shims and I'll try to space them out the best that I can. Hopefully we can get this to work out. And we want to leave enough space here to be able to weld. Just enough for your weld to go in there. Now I'm not sure how many shims I'm going to need on this uh, project. But we might only need three shims in here. And what I'm doing, I'm putting the shims in there so I can get this thing spaced out just right in here. And I don't have, you need a good punch. I don't have a punch at this garage. So we're just gonna use an old screwdriver. And we're gonna tap these guys down in here. Now as you can see, our shims that we put in there are going to hold it straight inside of that shaft. That's going to hold it in place till we get it welded. If you guys noticed, I put this, this is my other welding glove. I put it over top of it because I was getting some splatter from that flux core. So now the only thing I got left is to fill that hole, that quarter inch hole I weld or drilled in the bottom. We're gonna fill it full weld. It's gonna go in there and hook right to the uh, axle. That spindle's finished. We got one more to go and we'll have both the spindles in. All right, we got both of our spindles in now. We just did the same thing with this one over here as we did with that one. We got our hub on here. I thought I'd uh, show you what it looked like with the tire on. So let's get the tire put on it. All right, we got this hub on, spindle and hubs in, wheels on, riding nice and smooth. Looks pretty good and straight too. This is for off-road use mainly. There might be a small log or something you might want to pick up along the road. Uh, as long as it's on a back road, I don't think it'll hurt and you're not going very fast. I think this thing will be perfectly fine. So that's putting the weld on spindles in the log arch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Till next time.